Hello, my name is Jonathan Diebel, and for this two-minute drill, we're going to be discussing the sports marketing principles and their application into the real world. Um, just a broad definition of sports marketing. Um, it uses sports in any form to help sell goods or services. Um, sports marketing is not limited to just professional sports. It can be college athletics, uh, minor leagues, or alternative sports. A great example of college sports are their college uh, playoffs that they hold every year since 2015. Um, NCAA has marketed these college playoffs and have made millions and millions of dollars from it. Um, the college playoffs, as you know, it's the top four teams in NCAA, and they face off in either the Rose Bowl, the Sugar Bowl, or um, the Cotton Bowl, and I can't remember the other one. But, uh, yeah, they just, they profit so many. It's pretty much like a Super Bowl, but with college athletes. So you can just imagine how much money and revenue they bring in from that. Um, another great example of sports marketing was when NCAA had their uh, NCAA football video game. And, I mean, that stopped in 2014. But the reason that was such a profit for NCAA is because they are using their student-athlete superstars and just making millions of dollars from that and they're just um they're 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 pretty much marketing the the players and all all the all the ncaa football teams but none of these student athletes were receiving any money from it examples when reggie bush and robert griffin the third when they were on the star when they were on the covers of ncaa um, they brought in lots of profit and revenue, but none of the student athletes made any money from them using their names from it. So that's uh, that's just been an issue NCAA has been having with kind of branding their players with sports memorabilia or video games as that. Um, another ex sports now can be watched pretty much on any platform such as streaming, cable, smartphones, laptops, and etc. And since you can pretty much watch any professional game on almost any device, um, sports marketing has really skyrocketed as well because they can take up in many forms. So when you have companies purchasing, let's say, commercials or 30-second commercial breaks, um, they're pretty much during the, the professional, during the break time of the professional game, um, pretty much it works both ways because the sport the the team is making lots of money and the company that bought the advertising space is making money and same way works when uh teams sell advertising space in their own uh stadiums um companies will buy advertising space in their stadiums and just promote themselves and try to bring new customers and revenue in but um that's that's it that's um what I have with sports marketing principles and their application into the real world. Thank you.